Yo, what is up, guys? Welcome back. This is Troy D from the Troy D 24 7 Mall on point reviews all day, every day. And today we've got something I know you guys have been curious about, and I finally got it and I got to wear it a few times. This is the 2020 Soul City exclusive release from Lay Labo, and this is Citron uh, 28. Citron 28 the Lilabo City exclusive from Seoul. This one was released all of September. So Lilabo, basically, their city exclusives are not available any anywhere to purchase if you're not from there. And there's only one month, September, in every year where they actually sell these city exclusives on every store. So that's like the one time you get to buy these city exclusives. And this is the 2020 Seoul release Citron 28. Okay, so the Lilabo City exclusives I was able to get from my friend who actually, you know, he got me 14 of them, all of them. So eventually I'll review all of them down the line. And the city exclusives are the subject of either, you know, really huge interest because of, you know, if you're a traveler, if you live in those cities, or you wish to go to those cities, you think about you know does it does it give the essence of that city does it have the character of that city and then at the same time it's also the perfect like perfume for like no hype reviews because you're also thinking well is it just is it good because you think it is is it good because you think that it's exclusive you think that it's you know you can't get it basically the whole year so you know it smells better to you <laughs> or are, are you doing it because of the rarity are you liking it because of the rarity uh that's one of those big things what if they weren't exclusives what if they were a normal Le labo release line would you still buy them so there's a lot of hype i mean this is and and also i'm sorry this one is also expensive okay 330 dollars Woo! I mean, it's 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 pretty much a huge risk. I mean, so good move by Lelabo by actually releasing samples a month ahead. So that's the one good thing they did too, is that they released really uh, small two ml samples for sale back in August a month before the release, and that's really good. So actually, people were able to test every single city because they know that people won't be able to purchase all of them even blindly because that would be like oh my god over three g's i think so anyways this is the citron one this is citron 28 from seoul let's talk about this today let's hit the music <laughs> back guys citron 28 by lilabo 2020 soul city exclusive let's go spray it right now okay so when we think about citron 28 just by the word right like what are we thinking we think about citrus we think about citruses we're thinking maybe like something bright at least that's what i was thinking um when i think about soul that's the last thing i'm thinking is citruses really uh I've heard people from Seoul actually say, you know, why? Why did you give us citrus? <laughs> because, yeah, I, I don't know why they why they picked citrus. But the funny thing is, is that citrus is actually not the dominant part of this scent. You know, it's it's not at all. OK, um, the citrus here is this lemony, you know, nice lemony blast that really no joke to me, at least it lasted just a few seconds okay and then after that it didn't disappear it became sort of like a background actor but it became like a super super duper background actor which is sur very surprising very surprising because the main player of citron 28 is actually jasmine okay and you know if you really want the citrus you would really have to focus when you smell this on you, it'd be like, where's that citrus? And then you'll, you'll, you'll smell it on the get-go, right? But for the most, like when I spray this even on myself on a few wearings, Jasmine almost always came out like within seconds after the citrus. This is a Jasmine 
heavy scent or you could even say a jasmine scent okay so it's citrus for a few seconds then jasmine indolic jasmine folks okay that was the big big shocker and then that made me think too and i was just like man jasmine for soul man so they got in my head man citrus they got it wrong for soul and then now they got jasmine look at the literature it turns out that you know they thought about soul as you know kind of like the middle of uh tradition and modernity and i think about that and i was just like why didn't you guys just do like trendy you know like you guys know like you know bts is is a worldwide hit <laughs> you know, people are i mean i'm about to watch train to busan too man i'm excited to watch that but i mean jasmine that was a shocker okay because i was expecting something i don't know fashion forward something trendy something even for the fall you know because you know fall's the best time to to be in seoul you know to visit seoul i love going like fall even like spring usually when it's spring over there it's still freaking cold it's almost like a uh it's still like a fall like weather over there when it's spring uh usually you know go there for fashion week um yeah i was so shocked it was like wow it's jasmine okay and you get a lot of jasmine pretty much almost the whole thing and then after that i mean you know you do have like those little nuances like ginger and lemon kind of like go with the jasmine but honestly i mean how can you beat jasmine you know if it's a strong jasmine i mean you can smell the ginger and lemon just by like trying it like really trying to sniff it but the jasmine will always dominate and then i would say that the the second big player is actually musk so there's actually cedar wood and musk on the dry down and it's really nice it's got a musk dry down and the musk actually is also there so it's it's got this bed of musk on top of the jasmine and that's really the fragrance right there it's jasmine musk little citrus opening within seconds citrus and ginger playing in the background but mostly jasmine and musk okay so i'm thinking man this doesn't represent soul at all in my opinion and plus uh i think that for 300 something dollars i wouldn't pay for jasmine like just pure jasmine i mean no joke uh aaron terrence hughes has a lot of you know i told you guys before he has a lot of jasmine centric scents and they're like 50 bucks you know i wouldn't man i would not pay 300 for just jasmine no joke and that's kind of what i got here which is it makes me slightly disappointed i'm kind of sad you know because like seoul's kind of like one of my favorite cities in the world and it's like wow really you named it citron and you gave it jasmine so i mean i can see ladies over there because you know it's very trendy over there I, I i can see some 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 seoul city debutantes heading to Le Labo and getting all trendy and buying it for themselves and spraying jasmine i mean you guys know uh jeremy fragrance right like jeremy fragrance i own the 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 line for women because i bought it for my wife and that's jasmine heavy too but it's 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 a, a mix of things you know but it's jasmine heavy as well so i already know that the ladies probably will enjoy this will like this on them um if you're a man i mean if you th there's three things either you're really a diehard Lil Abo fan and you don't care that's number one number two you're okay with wearing jasmine you're okay with wearing white florals okay and number three well you're you're doing it because of you know the hype you know because it's new it's it's hype it's the new thing so you might end up buying this man i i would have been upset if i really spent 300 dollars on this i could have i mean there's 14 city exclusives i believe i mean poive 23 uh moose de chen those are amazing this one kind of falls short in my opinion it's kind of sad and again even if i say i'm kind of disappointed go try it for yourselves you guys might like it you guys might enjoy it you know uh it just depends on where you are on your fragrance journey and so that's kind of like why i don't compare things because you i mean there's there's now 3700 3700 subscribers now on this channel i can't possibly know every single person's you know <laughs> fragrance journey so try it out please try it out for yourselves i'm just saying for me right for me i was expecting 
And I, I wasn't really expecting because I know that Le Labo, they don't make super crazy perfumes. But this one at least, when you're kind of like, you know, you're kind of debuting something from a city, like a city exclusive to the world, 2020. I mean, they should have done better. If you look at, you know, the golf collection by Roja, I mean, he did his... You know, he did his thing. You know, it's like it's 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 very representative of those countries. I kind of, in my head, I kind of wish that, you know, Le Labo thought about maybe the trendiness, maybe thought of the fashion forward, maybe thought of the fall winter, which is, by the way, it's all it's happening now. Would have been great if it was a fall winter scent, eh? But it's not. So yeah, Citron Twenty Eight. I guess this is something you can use on the hot weather as well. Uh, because yeah, it's it's definitely not a fall weather scent. And uh, again, I want to say thank you to my buddy from New York for hooking me up on this. This one's really great for hooking me up with all of them. So eventually, I'll go through all fourteen, and I hope you guys get the data to buy whichever CD exclusive you want from Le Labo. Also, this one, uh, by the way, in terms of projection longevity i think this is like a five hour one i think this is a five hour and i think the projection and all is about you know maybe like uh 6.5 to 7 out of 10 which is it's not beastly it's not even like super strong it's not a projector it's just there you know that's why i think it's a it's a femme scent because most femme scents aren't really designed to like blast people away they're kind of like just nice and airy and you know just creates an aura around them i think i think that's why i think it's kind of like a fan femme scent to me so that's it that's my review on le labo citron 28 soul city exclusive i got 13 more i think so i got you guys okay i got you guys every single time on this now just make sure to like and subscribe because all the 2020s we're probably going to drop them here i got a super surprise for you guys this week so make sure you guys like and subscribe make sure you hang with me Thank you for all the support, the love, everything you guys have been giving me, okay? I love you guys. Now, you guys have a great week. This is Troy D. I'll see you tomorrow with another awesome video. Take care.